What's up everybody? Today I will be teaching you how to get Microsoft's Group Policy Editor for Windows 7 Home Premium, Windows 7 Home Basic, and Windows 7 Starter. Currently I'm running Home Premium and uh, as you can see I have a working Group Policy Editor. Let me get it open. There you go. As you can see uh, I have Group Policy Editor and just to uh, show that I do have Windows Home 7 Premium. There you go, Windows 7 Home Premium. Alrighty, let's get started. Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up um, the properties of your computer and find out several specs. You can go to Start Menu, right click on My Computer and hit Properties, or you can just press the Windows button on your keyboard and press the Pause Break button. It should open up uh, this, um, this bad boy right here. All right. First thing you're going to want to write down is the uh, operating system. All right? See here I have a 64-bit operating system. It could be either 32-bit or 64-bit. This is very important. Secondly, you don't need to really write this down, but just make sure you're running Windows 7 Home Premium or lower. If you're not running Windows 7 or you have something higher than Windows 7 Home Premium, you already have Group, edi group Editor Policy. Alright, so once you've found out what type of system you have, go ahead and download the link in my description, which is an installer for the Group Policy Editor. Um, and uh, it's going to download into a RAR file. Alright, go ahead and open it, and it'll uh, come with a setup file. Go ahead, run the setup file. I've already installed it, so I don't need to do it. Alright, so if you're running a Windows 32-bit system, you're in luck. You're done with the installation process after you've run, uh, after you've run the setup. To test if it works, go to Start, uh, type in Run, which come up with this box, and in Run, type in GPE edit, or GPE .msc, and hit OK. If this comes up, you're done. Now, if you're a 64-bit user like me, you still got quite a lot of stuff to toy with before your group policy editor will work. All right, so for the 64-bit user still watching, go to my computer, local disk C, Windows, and then go to the folder uh, syswow64 right here. Now you're going to select the group policy folder, group policy users. And you can select multiple uh, files and folders by just holding down the control. And you're going to scroll down and find gpedit.msc. Um, let me find it. Alright. And once you've selected all three, hit control C. And now go back to Windows, go to your System32 folder, and just go ahead and paste them into there. Just, uh, either right click, paste, or control V. Alright, so by now this should be enough for most 64-bit users to get their group policy editors to work. However, if you're still getting an error that says MMC could not create the snap-in, good news, one more fix to go. Okay, so once again, for people with uh, that never-ending MMC error, um, you're gonna have to run the installer once again and instead of running it all the way through, leave it on the last step. Do not click the finish button, alright? Do not click the finish button. Next, we're going to have to go to uh, C again, Windows, Temp, and to your GP Edit folder, alright? And by now, since this is only a 64 bit user still watching, you're going to go ahead and right click on this time64.bat folder and hit Edit. All right. Now once again, this is all happening while you're still on the last step of the installer. Do not click finish it. What you're going to do now is you're going to type or you're going to hit control plus H and in the find what but or uh, in the find what section, you're going to type in um, percent sign username percent colon F. Oops. All right. And you're gonna um, type in for the replace with quotation percent username percent quotation colon f, and you're gonna hit the replace all button. All right, uh, I've already done that, so I don't need to do that again. 
and um, after that you're gonna save it and you're gonna right click it run it as administrator and that's it hit finish and you have got yourself a working group policy editor thanks for watching everybody see you guys later